Welcome to Max It Out PC TV. Hello and welcome to Max Out PC TV. What is going on with you subscribers? You've got your chance to win this. All you have to do is subscribe. Subscribe to Max Out PC TV. Check out my Twitter page. Check out Facebook. Uh, check out Google Plus. Check out Blogger. You can check me out all over there, find out about the competition that's going on to win the dual pack of Corsair um, 120 static pressure fans for your computer case to keep it nice and cool. You can use it in your system for your computer, you can use it as um, a cooler for your processor or you can just use it to put on your radiator to make these make your computer nice and cool and quiet. As, I, as you've seen in my videos you can see that they're really nice and cool. Anyway. Maxed Out PC TV would like to present the new um, PC that I wanted to show you which is going to be featuring Tomb Raider, Bioshock, um, what else is there, uh, Fire Cry 3, Assassin's Creed 3, yeah basically all the games that are out at, at the moment, this is what I really want to show you what this computer can do, with one GTX graphics card that's water cooled as well as the CPU with custom water cooling that I've done. I also changed the fluid that was also inside the computer beforehand, which I'm gonna show you right now. And this is the beast that I was talking about. I'm gonna show you and tell you what I've got in there so far, or actually it's finished, so nothing really more I'm gonna put in there, unless I'm gonna put another graphics card. But at the moment, I'm just showing you what you can do with just one GTX 680 graphics card in there and everything else that I've got in there so we'll start with uh, the CP water block All right, we have an EK water block supreme I changed my memory to Kingston uh, hyper beast memory which has got 32 gig don't know if you can see that that well I've got um, Bits power connectors, um, 90 degree angle ones, uh, I think I've got two of them and I've got normal just straight fittings as well, compression fittings. I've got at the top there, there's three Corsair SP120 static pressure fans at the top. Um, I've used the little red clips so it's all colour coded in there, all about an FX. Um, I've got the bits power I don't know why you can't see that probably is a bit dark there we go got the bits power um, glass tubing or plastic sort of um, tubing inside so that's my reservoir to hold all the fluid and coolant inside there also got the mayhem pastel red in there I took out the glitter stuff in, out of there because um, I didn't want it to clog up my machine it took ages tidying up all of this. I should have had this video out over a month ago but I thought I'd just see how good it was. Still isn't overclocked yet but it is going to be overclocked um, in the next video with all the, with the, no actually I won't overclock it until I've put all the games, well all the games are on there but then I'm going to um, play the games without it overclocked and then I'm going to play the game with it all overclocked so you can see the difference with the frame rates that are going on and the smooth gameplay or if there's any juddering about with the one GTX 680 graphics card inside which is here and it's got also underneath an EK um, water block as well in there still loads of space there as you can remember how big the graphics card was before it was something like about that big and it took over a lot of um, a lot of space, but now it's all good. I also got a normal standard DVD drive in there. Uh, I've got one one uh, twenty mil um, Nexus uh, fan and in, in in the side there to keep it cool, to keep the air flowing across the graphics card and exhaust straight out into the back. Also got normal um, S XPS um, tubing which flows the coolant nicely around the whole computer. Got the AX860i Corsair power supply. But just normal cables, can see the other one had um, the braided cables so it all cut and matched and everything like that, it was quite nice. Got um, a CPU EK water block. 
so you get clearer. Yeah, that um, cover on the top, that's by EK. Oh, no, sorry, that's the EK 20% uh, extra. So it gives you 20 extra, extra percent of um, making the water flow better through your system. And also behind that, I've got um, a Swift Tech uh, water pump, which pumps uh, 9 litres an hour or something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, I've got that. And I've also got XPSC. Um, radiator 120 mil uh, push and pull configuration at the bottom they uh, got two uh, 120 uh, nexus fans in the in the front there there's one there one at the bottom one at the top and I've got one at the back right here and I didn't bother opting for push and pull configuration like I did with the other 810 switch case so as you can see it's got no push and pull configuration, no fans there either. Right, and this is the front. Bits Phoenix, uh, no, Bit for next, sorry. That's uh, my my um, fan controller. Also got my um, flash drive in there as well. And that's my USB 3.0 and USB 2.0. Headphone, microphone, LED power, LED reset even yeah all right now I'm going to show you what it's like when it's actually on and this is what it looks like off with a three LG uh, 23 inch screens each and it comes at 69 inches across and their IPS screens are all exactly the same I've got my Zalman keyboard right down there mechanic keyboard my Corsair 1500 headphones 7.1 uh, surround sound headphones and I've got my rock cat and mouse mouse actually I should say and I've got my graphics tablet um, to do all my graphics with Photoshop and stuff like that my Hardman card and uh, speakers on each side and the subwoofers behind I've got my iPhone 5 there and I've got my Raspberry Pi there as well so I'm going to crank it up and show you what it's like when it's on right I'm going to show you with the computer on take this off the tripod take a closer look I've only got two lights in there at the moment. Right, back on the tripod. This is what it looks like with a triple display on. With uh, three uh, 23 inch screens, IPS screens going along. Now I'm going to show you with all the lights on. And here we are. Triple screen display, this is where all my work takes place. And this is where also my gaming is going to take place to show you all the game reviews going on, on here. Uh, what else? Harbin kind of speaking, is yeah. And these are the course uh uh, 1500s they've got 7.1 surround sound in them and basically I use this for well I'm going to be using these for gaming these are my first head, ever headphones to go with uh, a computer and also I'm learning a different language so whatever I do I'm going to be uh, listening to these in the night time when I'm working at night so if one's in bed they won't hear or videos going off whatever or any sound and they sound awesome as well they also come with this uh, little uh, remote control which is here it's on mute at the moment it's like a red or orange display You've got plus 
Actually, let me bring it up a little bit close so you can see. It's got a plus there for the volume up, minus down there for volume down. It's got a nice little label there saying Corsair. You click that and uh, mutes everything. But the mute is actually for red or orange and uh, this is for the sound to come through, which is blue, which I love the little display. I think it's excellent. And then you've got your little microphone here. This is made out of some sort of metal, which is really, really strong and it adjusts your head and stuff like that. Nice and comfortable on your head. Uh, it's got a nice Corsair logo written on there as well. So everything feels really nice and um, quite solid with these, uh, this Corsair headphone set, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, I've also got the Zalman mechanical keyboard, which uh, I love. Nice to do, nice quick typing. I should have got the full size keyboard what I had before, but now I've only got this, well actually the other computer's got it, but this is my main workbench and I should really have the bigger one, but still, if I need the other keyboard, I'll just bring it over here. I'm gonna be talking about the HTC 8X soon, and I'm gonna be, um, basically uh, telling you how far I'm up with it and what I'm going to do with it and also the iPhone 5 what I'm going to do with that and this is my tablet by Bamboo and it's for my graphics to do uh, Photoshop and all that sort of stuff and it's also a touch screen so it acts like a touch screen so whenever the screen's like this so I can just hover along and I can tap and everything comes up and comes into play like you would on a tablet or a touchscreen computer and also I've got the pen here and I can do loads of funky stuff with it you need to, if you want to find out more about it you should have a look on a website about it because there's so much stuff that you can use with that and also I've got the IPS screens obviously for the better graphics also it was a good offer for the screen so I've got three of them and obviously it's good for the graphics and that and what else what else what else what else yeah so this is where all your vid uh, this is where all my videos get done and stuff like that and all my work and also this is where all the gaming is going to be done and the overclocking and the non overclocking so you can see the games overclocked on one single GTX 680 graphics card water cooled and then you're going to see it overclocked with all these games so if you like more videos don't forget to watch um, more YouTube videos from Max Out PC TV. And also have a look at my new brand new website www.maxoutpc.co.uk TV. No Max Out www.maxoutpctv.co.uk and also have a look at Facebook, Blogger, I'm all around everywhere basically so you can catch me up on there and don't forget about the competition which is the SP120's high performance static um, pressure fans by Corsair you can win these, all you have to do is like and subscribe my videos and to find out more about this just keep coming back and looking at the videos thanks for watching Subscribe to Max It Out PC TV.